Hi there, I'm Craig Riendo, fly designer with Rainy Flies, and I'm here to show you my newest creation. It's called the Wee Willy Wiggler. It's a pretty simple little fly, but it catches just about everything that swims. It's designed based for bluegill and crappie, but I've been tearing up trout on it too. So let me tie you one and you can go out and give it a shot yourself. You start with the hook, which is size 8 jig hook. Uh, any brand will do. Uh, Eagle claws are good and cheap. So that's a 90 degree bend jig hook. To this we're going to add a 1 8 inch bead head. You can use brass or tungsten depending on how fast you want it to sink. Uh, first thing you got to do is probably the hardest part of the fly is thread the bead under the hook. You just get that on there, get it to come over, got it on there and put it into the vise. The bead moves around so we got to lock that down by using thread, get it started up. And we're going to build a little dam behind the bead head here to get it to stay in place. If it's pretty much where it stays, you like it there, add a drop of super glue onto the threads. Push the bead onto it and that thing is permanently in place. All right, to this, we're going to build an underbody of a crystal flash. You're going to need two strands, two full strands. Get yourself a pair, line them up, and fold them in half. You're going to end up making eight strands out of this. You can fold it in half, have four. Cut those. Fold it in half again. And we have eight strands. Take the ends and Cut them level, get the thread to stop unwinding, tie them in just behind the bead and wrap them down the length of the body. Because what you want to end up having is have the loop of those at the back end like that. Bring your thread forward, tie it off, hang it in your cradle, get it out of your way. Okay, next step, get yourself your dubbing whirl. Get your dubbing whirl, take those loops, put them on the whirl, and spin. When it wants to fold up on itself, you know you got it done right. It makes a nice rope. And just palmer it up the whole length, well, let's say seven-eighths of the length of the hook, just short of the bead by about two turns. This, is, this adds a little flash to the fly, but its main purpose is to build an underbody to attach the rubber body to the hook. Just tie it in, get the flesh out of the way. All right, the secret ingredient to this whole fly is one of these. <laughs> this is, I call it, a giant puffer ball. You can find these things at Michael's craft stores or Walgreens or any toy store. It's just these very, very stretchy rubber legs and the deal about them is these rubber legs because being so stretchy you can't really thread them on a hook they just push themselves off you can't tie them on a hook because it cuts right through it so here's the trick cut yourself one of these little legs off i'm gonna put it down the table here find yourself your bodkin and a lighter what we're going to do is going to melt a groove into the rubber body to glue it onto the hook. So all you do is take your lighter and heat your bodkin up. I know the hook shank's a half inch long, but I want to leave an eighth inch gap to put a hackle on, so I need to cut a three eighths inch groove. This is good and glowing. Come back down. Secret thing right here, just touch it in. See what I got there? Is it just melted it in? like that. So that's how it's going to sit on the hook. So it's even with the top of the rubber body. 
After it dries a little bit, just peel it off. You're done. Now, turn it over on the bottom side of the hook shake here. Going to add a little bit of super glue. Just a dab down the shank. Turn it over again. Take my rubber body, okay, with the groove there facing up to the top. Put it on my finger. I'm just going to push it up onto there. Let's get it lined up because you get one shot at this. It's going to stick immediately. So about an eighth inch back from the bead and just plunk. And if you're really lucky, you didn't glue your finger into this. Give it about 10 seconds here. And there you go. The body is on. You can see the flash still on the top. It doesn't totally envelop the hook. But that body is on there, not going anywhere. Then get yourself some saddle hackles. Again, uh, I like all chartreuse, but chartreuse in black works pretty good too, or chartreuse in white. Get yourself one feather, get it up here by a tip, and kind of open it up. Just hold the tip. Get it there as a tie-in point. Just a couple wraps to hold it. Tie it off. Put your thread back in the cradle. Cut off that extra tag. Can't see that side of the fly. Right there. Now we're going to just make half a dozen wraps coming around the fly. First one don't count. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Six. Now tie that off. Keep your thread just running right over the bead so you try not to tie down any of the hackle feather there. It's about three times around and you're pretty good. Cut that out of there. Now you could, like I said, just easily Make a couple half hitches around this to tie it off. Just, you know, come in here like that to tie it off. But I got a, a little simple way to help us a little bit. So I took the cap of a, a Sharpie and I drilled a hole through it that's big enough to fit over the bead. But because we've got that 90 degree stem that a typical half hitch tool wouldn't get over, I cut a little groove into this. So that allows it to slide over the stem. So you just put that over there, slide it over, and just, you know, here's your new half hitch tool. Just bang. Tie it off. So it takes a couple half hitches, cut it off. Get yourself a dab of head cement, and you're done. Simplest fly in the world and it catches the heck out of fish.